Hey, this is Walk and Talk 209, May 2nd. Uh, everybody uh, gets hurt, offended. Everybody has some wrong, something done wrong against them. How do you find justice? This Walk and Talk is about finding justice. When someone hurts you, when someone offends you, when someone violates you, when someone, you're innocent and someone does you wrong, how do you find justice? I'm going to suggest number one, you turn to Proverbs chapter 8, verse 20. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 20, and it says, that wisdom walks in the way of righteousness. Wisdom walks in the way of righteousness. And wisdom is in the midst of the paths of justice. And wisdom is in the midst of the paths of justice. What wisdom is in this verse is a synonym for God. So if you want to find justice, walk with God. If you want to do the right thing, find God. So when you find God, when you walk with God, when you walk with Jesus, you will receive justice. Many people go through life and they, there's no God. They, they don't care about the Bible. They don't care about Jesus. And they live a life of anarchy, a life of lawlessness, a life of rebellion. They live a life that there's no right or wrong. There's no justice. Justice is making a wrong right. Justice is satisfying someone who offends you, satisfying the offense. There's a restitution. There's an apology. When you start with God, the Bible says, You're starting the right way. Wisdom is the way of righteousness. Wisdom is the way that you discover the paths of justice. Notice, wisdom is God talking in Proverbs 8.20. So when you start thinking about getting justice, remember, go vertical before you go horizontal. Go to God and begin asking God for the right thing. As you go to God, you recognize there is sovereign justice. God is over everything and God will get justice with or without you. You recognize that God will have the last say. God will... His justice is superior. God is superior. God is supreme. He is the supreme judge. You recognize that you don't have all of the answers of righteousness. You don't have all of the paths of justice, wisdom does. Where do you discover justice? You discover it through wisdom. Where do you find wisdom? The Bible says wisdom comes from God. Simple suggestion. When someone does you wrong, ask God for clarity. Ask God for righteousness. 
ask God to give you wisdom on the path of justice. How should I go forward? What should I do? What is the procedure? Who do I go to to get justice, to get satisfaction? I've been wronged. I've been offended. I've been hurt. I've been violated. What do I do, God? Go to God. An another practical suggestion. When you go to God first, when you're trying to seek justice, you recognize you've got to go slower. You've got to be patient because you're asking God for his help. That slows you down. So the simple suggestion is, as you go slow, find clarity, not emotions. When you discover the justice of God, you find clarity, but it slows you down to where you're not reacting. Anyone who reacts emotionally typically becomes angry, irrational. They're so upset, they're unable to see clearly. So going to God slows you down, calms you down. You recognize that God is sovereign, God is supreme, God's going to get justice, even in the worst case scenario, you don't personally find justice on earth. God sees every wrong action. God sees every violation. God sees every law breaker. And God, who is sovereign and holy, brings about correction, the best correction, the, the, the best righteousness, the quickest path of justice, you discover that you have blind spots. You discover that you can't understand it all. Slow down. Let your emotions back off. Start to think rational. Keep asking God for His justice. Another practical suggestion. The Bible says that revenge, vengeance, belongs to God. So as you move forward seeking to do the right thing to find justice, Remember that revenge or getting even has no wisdom from God. If you're angry and you're upset and you're trying to get even, you're trying to force the hand of justice, you've ignored God. Now you're the violator. So often we watch when someone believes an injustice has occurred, someone broke a law against them, they turn around and break many laws against the other person. And what you end up having is two uh, lawbreakers uh, going at it. Slow down. Revenge belongs to God. You, there's no place for you to take up and get revenge. Another practical suggestion. As you pursue God, remember that justice takes time. So as you slow down, as you gather your emotions, as you're trying to find what's the right thing to do, 
it takes time. Simple, but difficult. I'm going to suggest that when you find justice, it will take time, research. You're looking to discover what's right, the path that you should take, the paths of justice, as Proverbs 8 20 says. So there's many ways to find justice, but it takes time. Do your research, slow it down. You'll find justice by asking God for his help. God will bring about it. Don't be emotional. Slow it down, research, practical suggestion, gather the facts. When you've been offended, when you've been hurt, when you've been wronged, go slow. Don't, don't react. Gather the facts, simple suggestion. Start asking questions. Become a patient questionnaire. Start asking questions. Try to discover the facts. You do that through the simple questions of who, what, when, where, and why. The path of justice requires the truth. Basic, basic question, what happened? Help me understand what happened. Help me understand what do you know about a given circumstance? Gather the facts, ask questions. You will find justice. Proverbs 8.20 says, In the midst of the paths of justice, you'll find wisdom. You'll find God. You'll find what's right. God has a way, as you're asking questions, as you're trying to discover the truth, He will bring truth wisdom, insights, clarity to your mind. Another practical suggestion, as you're asking questions, remember to go to witnesses. If you want to find justice, make sure that you're looking for witnesses. In addition to what you think, make sure you go and look for what other people think. It is interesting uh, how people overlook the witnesses of others. If you want to find justice, don't be afraid to say, hey, what do you understand about such and such? What do you know about such and such? Don't do this to slander or gossip or become biased or prejudiced. But find witnesses. Often there are other people, not always, but often, there are other people involved. Simply suggesting, go to people and ask for their perspective. What did they see? As you're finding justice, you may discover more information that will alter, change your opinion, or gather more evidence to support your hypothesis. As you're finding justice, go slow. Start with God. As you're finding justice, there's no room for revenge. As you're finding justice, remember, do your research. Talk to witnesses. Ask the questions that will help you gather the information. A practical suggestion. Usually justice is not what you think it is at the beginning of your research. When you're offended... When you're upset and somebody does you wrong because someone hurts you, usually if, after you do your homework, after you've 
done your questions, after you've gone through cross-examination, gone through a trial, whether that be informally or formally, you'll discover there's more to the story in finding justice. There's more going on than you can possibly realize. I'm simply suggesting to you, don't be afraid to gather the facts. Don't be afraid to figure out how to ask good questions, get clarification. Uh, You may discover that what you thought at the beginning of the path or in the middle of the path may change. I'm simply suggesting be prepared to change courses. Be prepared to pivot as you're finding justice. Don't be locked into a bias. Don't be locked into prejudgment. You're trying to evaluate. You're trying to find justice. Go slow. Question your witnesses, but be flexible with trying to discover the truth. Many individuals get caught up in, I'm right, and it doesn't matter what I discover. If you want to find justice, you got to get on the side of God and allow God to guide you. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 20 says, I walk in the way of righteousness. The subject I is wisdom. And wisdom in the Bible is God, is Jesus. It says, I, God, I, wisdom, I walk in the midst of the paths of justice. Proverbs 8, 20. You're discovering the truth. Let the truth set you free. Don't be caught up in being so angry or so upset that you move toward revenge. Revenge is not a part of God. It's not a part of wisdom. God always gets justice for you, for the other person. If you've been wounded, if you've been hurt, if you've been violated, do the right thing. Uh, Pick up Proverbs 8, 20, and begin to look, and begin to look at the paths of justice, the way of righteousness, and you'll discover that God will show you the truth. Another practical suggestion. Remember what I said at the very beginning of this walk and talk, the sovereignty of God, the sovereign justice of God is superior, supreme to your justice. Go slow, think of the long view. God always gets justice. God always is right. You may not see it. You may not understand your pain. You may not understand what happened, why the person wronged you, hurt you, offended you, violated you, broke the law against you. But trust in the sovereignty of God. Trust that God will bring about justice for that wrong, for that hurt. That requires a practical suggestion. Increase your faith. Increase your capacity to go the long distance with God. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be biased. Don't be prejudiced. God will bring truth, will put light on the painful circumstance, on the wrong that's done against you.
trust God. I'll give you another practical suggestion. Good morning. Many times uh, when, when a wrong is committed, many times it takes much time for the truth to come out. When you're seeking justice, when you're trying to find justice, often the truth comes out slowly, not quick. You need to have great faith, trust God, be patient, go slow, ask the questions, and often the truth trickles out as opposed to jumps out. God is at work on your behalf when you cannot possibly understand. God is sovereign. He's holy. He sees everything. We would like for justice to occur quick. I'm simply saying it doesn't occur occur quick. Often it's slow and you need to be slow because truth trickles out slow. And if you want justice, you want the truth to be elevated. And that just takes time. This is Walk and Talk 209. It's May 2nd. Finding Justice. We invite you to worship with us at First Baptist Church, Tempe, Arizona, 4525 South McClintock. We're at the corner of US 60 and McClintock on the southeast corner. You can go to our webpage, fbc-tempe.org. Call the church. Ask for me or one of the pastors, 480-839-0926. We're more than happy to offer some wisdom, some assistance. We have all kinds of uh, Bible classes for people of all ages. Uh, We have Bible classes for uh, co-ed, for men only, for women only, for children, for teenagers. Uh, We just invite you to worship with us every Sunday, uh, 9.30 and 11. This is Walk and Talk 209, Finding Justice. Remember the sovereignty of God. God always does the right thing. Have a great day.